Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Taurus. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's start with love. Let's see what's going on for you in love, uh, Taurus. What do we have to... Okay, the Eight of Swords. All right, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, somebody's got you all wrapped up, or you got somebody else all wrapped up. Somebody's waiting for maybe you to reach out, you to make some action, or vice versa. This is what you're doing with the Eight of Swords. It says that maybe somebody felt like they were... Um, they were really good to you and the connection or vice versa. You were really good to them. And this is what you get being a good person. This is what you get, you know, showing up as good. You, um, it's, this card actually says the air of being good natured. So this is what, you know, this would be um, when when being good goes wrong, if you will. You know, you, you get all tied up in, 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 you know, in knots about this. Um, you're waiting for the other person. You've given up agency on making any change or any move in your life, okay? Uh, you're waiting for outside rescue. Uh, you, you just want the go-ahead or, or the green light. Uh, the five of pentacles, yeah. So it's like somebody's in a place of um, being ignored, not acknowledged, you know, lack, lack of attention. Um, and somebody's waiting for the other person to reach out. Or vice versa this is what the both of you are doing or or it is vice versa yeah somebody set boundaries maybe even walked away from a connection somebody um you need to get out of this you know you need to you're saying that there's no way out of this or there's no way that i'm i'm going to be able to see this through or I'm not, there's no way that um I can let the mental strife in the t subside. Somebody is just like choosing to continuously think about negative things, possibly because they're not able to get in contact with, they're not able to be with. There could have been an ending of a relationship with the death card falling out. Someone also can't, they can't read you or you can't read them, you know, so you just don't know where you stand. Somebody is real, you know, emotionally, um, not cold, but they just, um, they don't show their emotions, um, easily. Okay. Or they don't show their emotions at all. They just know how to be, uh, stoic. They know how to be loving. They know how to be caring. They know how to be, you know, they can just pick and choose because they're so imbalanced of their emotions. They don't let anything rile them up or get them fired up. You could be dealing with someone like that, or this is you, or someone just can't get a rise out of you. And which is making somebody feel like there is, um, there's no way with you, you know, like it's, it's completely over. Somebody's got you questioning your worth, questioning what you bring to the table, questioning why. Somebody is, uh, you completely ended something or they completely ended something or something that they did completely transitioned or yeah, transition or transform the relationship. It's like no going back from this. Let's see what career and finance has to offer you, Taurus. The chariot. So very nice. You have some, some goals that you want to fulfill. Maybe you want to buy a car or you have cars and, um, you could be selling ones, something about, um, just being self-focused and directed, you know, and more so concerned about career and finance than love and romance, says the chariot card. Again, another card of control, being in control, control of you in all situations that you're engaged in. The chariot also talks about direction, maybe even moving something in terms of business and career into a new direction, maybe even implementing something new. But you're more so focused, you're not focused on people, relationships, or platonic or familiar or love you know love um connections you're more so focused on business let's see what this is about wow yeah you're focused on expansion okay with the three of wands and the chariot card you are you see the vision and that's where you want to be that's where you're trying to get to this is what you're manifesting the eight of wands talks about the law of manifestation well it actually talks about the law of attraction 
um, it says that you're pulling in that energy. You also could be getting a lot of different um, communication electronically, you know, a lot of communication going back and forward so that you can institute something that you can bring something into fruition. It says that life is going to pick up for you rather quickly. Things are going to go fast. All obstacles that were in the way will be removed. Make sure that you're not manifesting from a place of ego, but from a place of love and true desire. But it looks like you're, you're doing the work and uh, with the three of wands, it looks like it says in every aspect of your life, things are going well, especially in career and finance. Or this is where you're trying to get to. You've left something behind you, especially with the two wands behind him. And you're moving forward. This looks really good in career and finance. It looks like love and romance might not be so great, but you're definitely focused on career and finance and moving something forward and making it happen. Congratulations. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also um, contribute to the New Moon Money Jar. You can contribute any amount of money to the jar just to bring in and usher in more abundance in your life, abundance in your finances, um, to uh, usher in more those wishes and manifestations that you have for yourself and your career. And also keep in mind that a New Moon Prayer will be done collectively. Uh, for each and every person that has contributed to the money jar, uh, the prayer will uh, last for the next three days. So take advantage if you're feeling moved to do so. The link is below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.